U.S. fugitive arrested with COVID in Scotland hospital. He was found in a Scottish hospital, where he was infected with the coronavirus while on a ventilator, having faked his own death to avoid facing sex and fraud accusations back in the United States of America. COVID-19 almost killed Nicholas Alaverdian, 34, at Glasgow's Queen Elizabeth University Hospital. On 13 December, he was taken into custody. In an attempt to avoid prosecution in Utah for a sexual assault accusation he faced in 2008, Alaverdian stated he had died of cancer in February of 2020. Search efforts began in 2020 after studying sexual assault kits and identifying him as the perpetrator of the 2008 crime, which was never prosecuted. Aside from that, Alaverdian fled Ohio after being accused of undisclosed crimes. According to the Providence Journal, he was the subject of fraud and extortion accusations in Utah and Ohio. Sex imposition and public obscenity were found in Alaverdian's 2008 Ohio conviction. It was his allegation that he had died in Rhode Island that got him into trouble. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma was included in his obituary for February 2020. Fear not and rush toward the joy of the sun were supposedly his last words. A Rhode Island lawmaker called Alaverdian a well-known author and advocate for child welfare reform in March 2020. For years, he suffered abuse, neglect, and unsafe living circumstances at DCYF, Department of Children and Youth and Families. McCabe claimed at the time, his life may have been forever altered by the hardships he encountered throughout those years. According to new claims, police did not think Alaverdian had died one year after his feigned death. The police were able to locate him because of his new medical condition. In December, Alaverdian was threatened with extradition from a Scottish hospital ward. He may or may not have returned to the United States.